Welcome to Hollywood Library. It's Holly Woodley, and today's story is Piggy Bunny. Story by Rachel Vale. Pictures by Jeremy Tankard. Liam was just like all the other piglets, except for one thing. All the other piglets wanted to be pigs when they grew up. Liam wanted to be the Easter Bunny. Liam tried to practice hopping. He tried to enjoy salad. And he tried to deliver eggs. The Easter Bunny? asked Liam's big brother. Seriously? Yes, said Liam. You are a piglet, said Liam's big sister. Deal with it. I am dealing with it, said Liam. Liam was dealing with it by trying to practice hopping and trying to enjoy salad and trying to deliver eggs. You are a terrific piglet, said Liam's mom. We love your squiggly tail and your little black eyes and your snouty nose and your adorably triangular ears. You are perfect, said Liam's dad. Just exactly the way you are. Just exactly the way I am, said Liam, is like a piglet who is going to be the Easter Bunny. Do we even believe in the Easter Bunny? asked Liam's little sister. Um, said Liam's dad, we are more of a believing in oinking family. Well, I believe in the Easter Bunny, said Liam. When Liam's grandparents came to visit, everybody said, Everybody except Liam. Liam said, Hello, my name is Liam, and I'll be your Easter Bunny. Bunny? asked Liam's grandpa. Did this piglet just say he's a bunny? The Easter Bunny, Liam explained. Oh, said grandpa. He doesn't look like a bunny to me, said one of the neighbors. All the pigs and piglets stared at Liam. He didn't look like a bunny to any of them. Of course he doesn't look like a bunny, said Liam's dad. He looks like a perfect piglet. And he doesn't have to try to be anything else, said Liam's mom. He's our piglet and we love him. Liam felt loved, but he also felt sad. Everybody was sure he could never be the Easter Bunny. Liam knew they were wrong, but he wondered a little bit, what if they were right? Liam sighed. This is the kind of problem, he said, that is called heartbreaking. Baloney, said Liam's grandma. They just have the imagination of a kumquat, the lot of them. She shook her large head. Go put on your Easter bunny suit, Liam, then they'll see. Liam blinked his little black eyes. But grandma, he said, I don't have an Easter bunny suit. Liam's grandpa smiled gently. This is the kind of problem, he whispered, that is called fixable. Liam hopped around his grandparents, his triangular ears twitching with excitement. You know how to make an Easter bunny suit? He asked them. Absolutely not, said grandma. We will order one on 
the internet. While he waited for his Easter bunny suit to arrive, Liam practiced hopping and enjoying salad and delivering eggs. He got pretty good. Though salad remained a challenge. Ugh. When his suit finally arrived, Liam tried it on. It was a bit tight in some places and way big in others. One of the long bunny ears had trouble standing up straight, even after Grandma fiddled with the wire inside it. Also, it was itchy. Liam looked in the mirror. He didn't notice the string hanging down in front of his snout, or the wobbly ear, or the two long sleeves, or the seam coming open a tiny bit across his belly. He even stopped noticing the itch. Because what he saw in the mirror looking back at him was Liam, the Easter Bunny. Liam smiled and whispered, yes. Off he hopped, delivering eggs. And everybody believed in him. The end.